afternoon. Terry here at Two Rooster Farm. Today I'm going to make another Instapot recipe. Um, it's going to be my baked beans. So it's a combination of two recipes. Uh, this is an old book that used to be my grandmother's, my Nanny Hills, and it's got a really good baked beans. But of course it's the traditional way where you're soaking the beans overnight and it takes a long time for your beans to cook. So the Instapot is going to cut that in a percentage of the time. So we're going to start with putting one pound of white navy beans, so it's about half of this pack, into our end pot. We're going to add eight cups of water. Move the camera, so we're going to put on the lid. We're going to change the setting, it's on saute now. We're going to change it to pressure cook. Push again, push one more time, and we're going to set the time for 15 minutes. And start. So we're going to let this, uh, it's going to take probably 10 minutes to build up to pressure. Then we're going to let it cook for 15 minutes and then we're going to let it quick release, or not quick release, we're going to let it naturally um, release the pressure on its own for about 15 or 20 minutes. So we'll be back at the next step. So it's uh, 20 minutes, so it's cooked for 15 and it's been allowed to naturally release for 20 minutes. And so I'm going to release the pressure. So the pressure is all out, and it's safe to open it up. So we're going to drain this, but we're going to um, keep the water because we want to use the leftover water to add to the, the rest of the ingredients. And we put it back in the Instapot. Okay, so we're just going to, it's, it's going to get hot, we're going to drain the beans and make sure we're keeping all the liquid. And then we're going to clean the pot and we're going to get ready to start frying the onions and bacon. Okay, so I'm going to start to, to uh, saute the rest of the ingredients and then get ready to put the Instant Pot back on again. It calls for a little bit of oil. Well, I'm going to turn on the Instant Pot and we're going to go to the saute setting on high. Start. And just uh, add this tablespoon or so of oil. I don't know why you need it because we're going to be frying some bacon and that's got lots of grease, but I'm going to do what it says. And it calls for one onion, one medium onion. I like red onion, so I'm going to use about three quarters of this red onion and I'm just going to chop it and throw it in. And my onion's all chopped. I'm over waiting for the Instapot to get to high. I'm going to chop some bacon here. Call for 12 ounces of bacon. So, probably going to use about three quarters of this pound of bacon. Oh, and it's not hot. So while I'm cutting this, I'm going to throw my onions in. And they just need to cook for about two minutes. Alright, 
So I've chopped my, my bacon. I probably used between a quarter and a half a pound of bacon. a little brown. Then we're going to add a half a cup of the reserved um, bean water. And we're going to scrape all the brown bits. But there's not there's any brown bits yet, so we're going to cook it a little bit longer. That's good. Okay, so it looks pretty good. So we're just going to add our half a cup. One half cup of the reserved bean liquid. And we're just going to scrape all the little brown bits off the bottom. And then we're going to turn off the saute. Now we're going to prepare the sauce that goes into the beans. So we're going to start off with two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. One quarter cup of blackstrap molasses. One half cup of ketchup. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then two tablespoons of real maple syrup. So we're going to add our beans. I'll turn the camera a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Add the beans back in there. The, the one cup of reserved liquid. And the sauce mixture. Gently, not to mash the beans too much. So it's all combined here. And we're going to 
put the lid on again. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on again. We're gonna set it to the pressure cooker setter, setting, sorry. We're gonna click it again so it flashes and we're gonna set it for 35 minutes. Start. Uh, once the 35 minutes is, is finished, we're going to let it naturally release for about 15 minutes and then we'll open it up. All right, so the 35 minutes is finished. Now we're going to let it naturally release. So, natural release, not, we're not going to do a quick release for 15 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll be back at that step. Okay, so it's finished with the gradual release, and now I'm going to release the, the, wet, the, the remaining pressure, which is not very much. And then we'll be able to open up the next pot. All right, so the pressure is, is out, and now we're going to open it up. Make sure you open it away from you. Sorry, you can't see. <laughs> Look at that. All those nice pieces of bacon. Wow, this is what we're having for lunch. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It just takes, it doesn't uh, take a lot of effort to make this, but it does take a little bit of time. And it's basically, you can do all the other stuff while you're waiting for the Instant Pot to come up to pressure, come down to pressure, and finish cooking. But, uh, Look at that, really good. Gonna have a little spoonful here. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, mm. Mm. Enjoy, this is Terry here, Two Rooster Farm, saying bye and we'll see you next time.